In this presentation, we will discuss state and local government accounting elements of financial statements. Elements of financial statements. Before an item is allowed to be recognized, it must meet the definition of an element. These elements will look familiar. They'll basically be breaking out the balance sheet and income statement type accounts. So we'll be considering basically account classes. We're considering the accounting equation in essence, assets, liabilities, equity, and then the income statement where for a for-profit would be uh, revenue and expenses. So we're considering kind of like the equivalent of these categories, which we're going to list out as elements. So let's list out those elements and define them. There are seven elements. These are the seven elements, starting with assets, resources with present service capacity that the government presently controls. Then we have deferred outflows of resources, the consumption of net assets by the government that applies to a future reporting period. And then we have liabilities, present obligations to sacrifice resources that the government has little or no discretion to avoid. Then we have deferred inflows of resources, the acquisition of net assets by the government that applies to a future reporting period. Then we have net position, residual when assets plus deferred outflows minus liabilities minus deferred inflows is calculated. Net position appears in a statement of financial position. This would be equivalent to then equity for a for-profit balance sheet, which would be equivalent to the net position, which would appear on the statement of financial positions, the statement of financial positions being similar to a balance sheet for a for-profit organization. Then we have what we would consider more income statement type accounts, which is an inflow of resources, the acquisition of net assets by the government in the current reporting period, examples, revenue and other resources, and then we have an outflow of resources, what we would consider the expense type portion or similar to an expense type portion for a for profit. And that would be the consumption of net assets by the government in the current reporting period. Examples include expenses, expenditures, depending on if we're on an accrual or modified accrual basis and other uses of resources. So here we have our equation in terms of our accounting equation. You'll recall the accounting equation assets equal liabilities plus equity we're going to convert that to the format of assets minus liabilities equals equity and then we're dealing with these other two components which are going to be added to basically our equation so you'll note here we have assets now so we have assets rather than current assets which we'll discuss in terms of fund accounting uh, financial statements where when we think about a fund we're thinking about current flows typically so we have assets here plus deferred outflows. These are going to be items that are going to increase the fund balance as assets do, but don't qualify specifically in the same category of assets. Then we're going to subtract out the liabilities. And we also have the deferred uh, inflows. The deferred inflows, like the deferred outflows, are, are and like the liabilities, are going to decrease the fund balance similar to a liability, but can't be categorized as the same definition of liabilities. And then that's going to be equivalent to the fund balance, which you could think of as kind of the equity section. And you'll recall that you, you want to know these terms in terms of the fund balance. If you hear something like net assets, if you see something like equity, these are all kind of conceptually the same. It just depends on the type of organization entity that we're talking about. So for profit entities, a sole proprietor. Uh, typically called owner's equity, a partnership, partnerships, equity. If we're talking about a corporation, shareholders, equity. If we're talking about other types of entities, it might be called net position, fund balance. They're all going to be names for the basically assets minus liabilities equals that uh, net position, fund balance, equity type of section. So we have the similar accounting equation, assets minus liabilities, but we're going to break out these components, deferred outflows, and deferred inflows which are going to act like in essence assets and liabilities a component of assets and liabilities but don't technically fall into the the asset class and the liability class and therefore are going to be broken out into their own sections when we consider basically the balance sheet and the accounting equation for it 